and I like to say good morning on a beautiful windy day in the Philippines on this 16th of February 2023 coming to you from Santa Rosa never see ya. I'm standing outside of our house I want to do a video of their outside just to go over some things that looking at the difference between the house last year in March to this year Standing in shade by our coconut and banana trees here. So hopefully the wind doesn't mess up the sound too much. I got the microphone hooked up. So just want to go over everything, show everybody this magnificent place that my wife designed. There was no architect that drew up these plans. It was all her idea everything and some things are still ongoing so we'll take a look so here we are standing downstairs where the terrace is and where my favorite little grill place is underneath the trees here and I don't know if anybody if you saw my other previous videos there was a little fence built along here and there was uh, lots of flowers and pots. We had all that moved, a lot of soil brought in. And as far as the house, you can see, got it all painted up, railings done up there on the balcony. Down here was a lot of vines and bushes. Too many creepy crawly things were in there. We had all that removed brought in a lot of soil there was huge gaps underneath the house you know critters make holes underneath there but had all the vines removed the grates clean and painted again because it would have looked really bad with the house and you can see all the designs up on the ceilings there solar lights It's not totally 100% done, but it looks real beautiful there. And that's our big living room there. I don't know if anybody remember before the fence was here. We had kind of the neighbors on the other side of the wall living on part of the yard there. It was very messed up. but. Had to give them a little notice where our building so and it's been a struggle but we got them out had to bring in a tremendous amount of soil because the whole yard which we're up a little higher than the street a, a couple feet maybe three used to slope down it used to look like the house was sitting on a hilltop Wow, something wind must be blowing some debris. But anyway, this fence was started last year in March. We had it done because there's too much traffic going through here from everybody. Kind of like Sunshine Shoulders wants to come, come in and build in his house. We needed to build a fence to keep the honest man honest. So it's a tremendous improvement. Even got some grass growing. May have to buy a little push mower or something. But this is how the house looks. Very big. And like I said before, believe it or not, my wife designed all of this down to the T. And a lot of people couldn't really understand her vision sometimes. And we had to force them to because this is primarily for us and the kids. It's what we designed it for. Hello. We had a lot of opposition, but I believe in moving forward. This is what my wife wanted, and we worked tremendously hard to get this done. So it's very nice. 
The yard isn't quite how we wanted it yet because we still want to build other things along there. Make it like an L. A really nice place to sit out and barbecue. We may do something with that too. Spent a lot of money on this gate. There's like three gates to drive in, two gates to walk in, pedestrian gates. We got three on the other side. Show you what this looks like. There were a lot of bushes out here, like cactuses, that were in front of this pedestrian gate. We had all those removed. All this was dirt that sloped out to where it looks like that. And my wife, of course, with her design, had these flower pots built out of concrete and painted to want everything to look like the house. So it's very nice. There's a little trash rolling around we have to come out here and pick up. But the flower pots also serve as another purpose because everybody has a lot of cars and space is very limited here. And everybody will park here in front of the house so you'll never get in. So we had to kind of deter parking out there blocking our entrance so it's been a literally a fight for everything also just looking around with the fence here it serves another tremendous purpose it's not a whole lot of trash there are some lots of mass some debris out in front of the house I used to pick up five seven sacks of trash out here because it just blow in and people would drop it yesterday i walked around the house picking up trash only picked up one small trash bag wonderful so here on this side of the house you can see how the windows those little windows up there let a tremendous amount of light in the house. So I like a, a house that's well lit, not dark and gloomy. It's very bright. And like even over here, we had to bring in so much dirt that I would have been standing at least three or four feet from the spot I'm in now, looking at the house ground used to slope way down so came up a lot and it also helps with flooding and so this is like the Toyota side of the house <laughs> if you want to say there's the beautiful fence I think I spent like $10,000 on this fence. And this side of the house here is smaller side because of the street. But as you can see, there's our little balcony up there. Our hangout. That's by our bedroom. So you can see that. Walking up to yet another entrance for the house you can walk up these stairs here that I should show those that we had made design all my wife's idea I was just providing the finances there's some things she did like I wanted her to this is my son's bedroom there his terrace that we had to have redone also because it wasn't done right now I need to get a key because I need to be outside so a little pause so I got a key to unlock the other gate over there but backing up a little bit 
to the living room here. We got these big glass doors that we were thinking of tinting the glass, but this concrete slab here, we want to build a room as an entrance right here. So we just got to come up with the design for it. So when you walk in through the pedestrian gate, we just got to figure out where we want the door at, whether it's going to be on this side or that side over there. Place you can walk in first and it'll protect for storms. Or we want to build it like a patio. But I think we do need something overhanging there. But we will get to that next year when we move here. Because we want a certain design and we don't want anybody influencing it in any other negative way. So that's just one thing you got to be aware of when you're building in the Philippines. You got to be a little persistent on what you want because you're spending your own money. So over here, I need to open up this gate here. We have so many, so many keys. So part on. And we have workers out here working. So this is another side of the house that I'll show you. Here's where the fence starts and goes on down. Our beautiful hangout. And it goes all the way down here. And we got a working crew here still doing things. Uh, building the driveway entrance because that's the pedestrian gate. This will be my driveway and to go up. We're gonna buy a car next year, a truck. So that's one gate and this big, huge gate. This is the property my sister bought. It was just a small property that was uh, right next to the house. Nobody owned it. So she bought it. So when I had the gate built, uh, the fence built, I had everything included to make it one long piece. So if we just back up a little bit, you can see how long this is. It's a big house. There it is. So in this gate here, give her uh, brother a chance, place to park his vehicles, because we're trying to move everything. Right now, it's too many people with access to our side of the house, and we're trying to limit that, you know, for security reasons. So that's why we're having all that done. And as you can see, I don't know, you can show you this, how high the property is. We brought in a lot of dirt. So I don't know if you can see the elevation going up there to that. And we'll compare it to the neighbor's property, which is about almost a foot. More than, more than 12 inches higher probably two feet higher. But let me tell you, when it rains a lot, the street I'm on and everything is like a, a river. We don't get any water up in our house. 
that was one reason for building everything so high. So if we continue on, this is the inside, and this is all what's going on. Hello, hello. <laughs> so this part here will be like why I park. Of course, I can park anywhere I want to. But here's the shot of the house from the other side. Just getting out of there. It's very hot today. So we have a lot of work to do yet on this side. Even where our kitchen is right there. We want to maybe build a laundry room outside of that door. So you can see all the entrances and exits we have. More than enough. I think we got one, two, three, four. If you count my son's terrace and his door, you have to jump over the balcony though. Got about five ways to get out of the house in case something happens. You know. And we want to hook up out here some of the solar lights so when people drive in. Hopefully things don't get too crazy with everybody coming in and out because, you know, we got very nice neighbors over here because all we're looking at is keeping everything safe. We have a tremendous amount of work to do still, but it's coming together. A lot of leftover stuff to get rid of. A lot of debris you, you know but leftover pieces even this old garage which was great to serve this purpose got to bring my weed eater here actually have one do some weed eating back here But this is the property. View of the house from another angle. Got a lot of leftover wood and everything. But I'm sure I could just call up the family and say if anybody needs something other than that, you go for firewood, chop it up, get rid of it. But that's at a later date. Because I want to build a storage room or buy one. We'll see. And you say, what are all these sacks? I don't know, it's some kind of organic material her brother made and sale. So it's easy to store here. We owe our son coal a lot because he has a gravel business and he brought in a lot of the dirt and stuff. And of course, he actually helped us build a lot of this. So we have a big debt of gratitude we owe to him and my other sister-in-law, as we call my sensei. Because her being an engineer, she can figure out how much material you need for something in a heartbeat. I can't. So, that is the house. Let me just do a quick pause. Now I can leave that there. I'll leave that gate open for now because so the workers don't have to walk all around the house. But that is a quick look at the house and the birds. Talk about them. They, they were used to living here be, before this living room was built. It was just a shell. So they still trying to get into the house. And I try to show everybody that we got a lot of windows 
because we don't have air conditioning in the living room yet because we'll get that later so it's a little warm of course it's hot in the philippines but you got 10 windows downstairs and there are some windows upstairs oops hit the camera to let the heat out and, it, and the room is a lot cooler if you do that and we put screens on every window to keep the bugs out but people will open the window and open the screens and there's a lot of mosquitoes in the philippines you know and it's like people those screens cost a lot keep, somehow folks have their magic they think there's more air coming in there's a lot coming in when you open up everything and the worst thing is to sit in your house and get eaten up by mosquitoes we don't have that issue here so it's hot I need to get out of the Sun I'm dark enough already sit down in my favorite place and I often sit here with a can of spray and look out at the neighbors there and that's a look look at that lovely ceiling Bailey and Cullen with a heart and she put a heart up there too so it's a beautiful day clear breezy I need to do a drone shot we also got rid of a lot of trees that were here a moment just needed to flip the camera around we got rid of a lot of trees that were here because out by the gate we had some all over the place so we really had to the workers no trees by the fence line so we had quite a few dug out and removed that was another thing that people couldn't understand why we were getting rid of them it's like trees the roots will destroy your fence spending a whole lot of money for nothing but that's just some of the issues we dealt with but me, I believe in moving forward. <laughs> Keep moving forward. Because it's been a, a long journey building this, getting the money together for it. And it's just, it's just beautiful. My wife, who, as I said previously in other videos, she's been here for almost two months now because she needed to come here. One, our son broke his leg. So take care of him. And she'd had, she has those workers helping to fix a lot of things that were wrong. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Some things that were done twice, so paid for twice. But she had those imperfections fixed. She has a lot of ideas to go, but the amount of things left to be done would be kind of inexpensive. And when we finally come, We'll have time. Want to build a sidewalk because you don't always want to walk on dirt. So we want to build a sidewalk when we come out of here to go around the terrace. And when we enter from the pedestrian gate to go here, I just may make this here my driveway, but I have options. And especially options when people come over to visit. Can park here and there. So so we're slowly getting control of the whole house, you know, which is not 100% yet. So, but it is a, it's a work in progress, believe me. You have no idea. And the house is not really furnished downstairs yet. We will do that next year for obvious reasons. We we'll want to just buy something and someone else tear it all up for you don't know how to use it and we of course have to work on the so-called dirty kitchen but it's a kitchen put all the appliances in there 
things we want to have in there. Trash cans, whatever else around. And we'll get it done. It's just gonna take a while. And it'll give me something to do next year. So that is the house. And it is 11.02. Time to have a little bit to eat and see what I'm gonna do next for the rest of this day. So thank you all. Please hit me up with a comment, good or bad. I'd like to see it by now.